guys, welcome back. It's been a real long time since we made one of these videos, but we're back with some pretty big news. We are. So for those of you that have been uh, following our infertility journey, we had decided a couple years ago to take the route of adoption after we were unable to conceive on our own. Um, so we haven't had anything to report because we've just been in the book and waiting for our family to pick us out. In the meantime, um, unexpectedly, this spring, I became pregnant. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, quite a shock to both of us. I think um, honestly, like I'm 14 weeks now, and we're still kind of in disbelief about the whole thing. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I, I, mean, I already like gave up on the whole idea completely. Yeah. So it was pretty nuts to hear. She called me at work. It's like I'm pregnant, and I was like, I think I thought it was a joke. That she was kidding. I know. I took a pregnancy test, and I even called him. I said, I think I'm pregnant. Like we were just completely in shock. Um, and obviously everyone tells you it's going to happen when you stop thinking about it. And it's kind of what happened to us. We obviously weren't trying. We weren't thinking about it. We were planning on an adoption. Um, so it was unexpected, but definitely a very welcome surprise. Yeah, so that's, you know, great for us. And I feel bad for everyone else who's not pregnant still, you know. I mean, I feel for you guys who are watching, definitely. Um, and it's important to say that we didn't have any infertility problems that were diagnosed. Right. We didn't have any diagnosis that we were working against. Sometimes that can be a little bit more frustrating because you don't really know what you're dealing with. But, um, yeah, there wasn't anything documented. It just wasn't happening for us. Mm -hmm. um, a couple things that I think helped was that I had recently quit a very stressful job in special ed. My blood pressure was really high working at that job. Almost as soon as I quit, my blood pressure dropped. Um, after all this frustrating infertility treatments... Since we, once we decided on adoption, I had um, picked up smoking cigarettes again since I wasn't trying, and I quit again this spring. So I think I had a couple healthier habits that helped our case a little bit. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we're 14 weeks along now, so we've been telling our family and friends. All of our appointments have gone pretty well so far. Um, we're excited to find out the sex. Um, I'm really still very nervous about everything, about everything working out. Um, I had a pretty typical first trimester, just super sleepy, pretty nauseous. Um, I've been doing a little bit better, but still really, really tired. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. It's been it's been fun looking on baby facts and seeing how big the baby is. How big is the baby now? It's a baby chick still, I think. What fruit? A peach. It's the size of a peach, yeah. <laughs> so I'm starting to show I'm starting to rock some maternity pants. Look good on them. <laughs> In them. So yeah, I guess we'll make some more videos about this. Yeah. So keep watching if you're interested. And you know, once again, we're really sorry to anybody who is not having the luck we have. You know, we've been there and we feel real bad about it. Right. So. We never thought we would be making this video. So our hearts definitely go out to you. And please send us some good vibes as we're on this journey that everything works out as, as it should. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really thankful for all your support. Obviously, our adoption's currently on pause. They were. That's one thing I wanted to say is that they were really cool about it. We have a specific agency where it wasn't not allowed to be trying to have a kid. I think some agencies discourage that. Ours was pretty cool about everything. Um, we weren't actively trying, but we did call them when we found out that I was pregnant. And they were really understanding and we're now on pause. We're not on the site anymore. Um, but it's also kind of been helpful for me that we have kind of a backup too because I'm so nervous about something going wrong or whatever. So... Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.